You're just a woman. You can't get it done. You're too old. It's impossible. You're too fat. Nobody will find you attractive. You look slim. Are you sick? You're too young. You won't understand. Often, people make us feel like what we want is beyond reach because of things that are out of our control, like our age, gender, ethnicity, and skin color. If you've had any of this or in any variation of it, please raise your hand up. I can barely see you, but look around. I believe that most of us have experienced this. Is it true? Is what people are telling you true? Do you believe them? Do you believe them? Louder. So why should you believe these same people when they tell you what success should or shouldn't be? Why should you succumb or accept the societal standard of success? Here in Ariwa, a woman's success is measured by her marital status and the number of children she has, while that of a man is measured by his number of wives. I want you to think for a moment what success means to you. Is it defined by the size of your bank account, your job title, or the accolades you have to your name? What is your own definition of success? I have been privileged to work with entrepreneurs, emerging leaders, and executives, guiding them through their personal and professional journey by improving their mindsets, beliefs, and removing those internal barriers that stops them from getting things done and maximizing their potential. One thread ties them all together, and that is the pressure to uphold and maintain the societal standard of success. This pressure has led to burnout, exhaustion, depression, anxiety, and overwhelm. And I believe that most of us here are having the same experience because of the current reality of our country. So this calls for a need to redefine the currency of achievement and change the narrative from within. The narrative is your current reality when it comes to your relationships, your job, your business, and every other aspect of your life. And to do this, you need to go through three stages. First is reveal. This stage is all about identifying your thoughts and beliefs while becoming aware of how they create your reality. What are those thoughts and beliefs that are responsible for your current reality? And what are those things you need to do to change them in order to create the needed shift. Next is rectify. This stage is all about managing, making decisions while understanding and managing your emotions. It's about choosing to feel amazing regardless of how you feel. You know, we often think that we need to feel happy all the time for us to feel great, right? But this is the recipe for addiction. You can feel great with yourself without being happy, correct? The last stage is resolve. In this stage, all you need to do is clarify your identity and create momentum. Who do you need to become to create that change or to create those results you want to create? How do you get things done regardless of how difficult it may seem, whether you feel like it or not? I have experienced what it feels like get, getting caught up in the rat race of achievement that you push yourself to the point of exhaustion. My experience and that of those I have worked with over the years has led to the creation of the connection metrics. This framework is a framework that helps organizations and individuals create their own version of success. This framework has five pillars, self, core, people, wealth, and environment. With the self pillar, it's all about uh, taking care of this container, your body. 
ensuring that you are in the mental, emotional, physical, and um, spiritual well-being to help you get things done by sleeping, eating well, exercising, and playing. How many of us still play here? Yay! <laughs> Next is core. Core is about the content. And this has to do with your vision, your purpose, and your mindset. What is that problem? What are those problems you've been placed on this earth to solve? How do you intend to leave this world a better place? While making this a reality by building the right habits and routines. A lot of people are scared of success because they think it's lonely at the top because that's the narrative that has been shoved down our throats, right? But success is not a solitary journey. You need amazing people and in amazing relationships to make the journey worthwhile. The people pillar helps you to build, nurture, and leverage on relationships so you don't get lonely at the top. Many people mistake money for wealth. Far from it. The wealth pillar is all about helping you improve your value to the extent that you open yourself and attract opportunities, abundance, and prosperity. We are a product of our environment. However, many people feel overwhelmed when it comes to managing their internal and external environments. So the environment pillar it's all about helping you design your external environment, which is your work and living space, to enhance productivity and creativity. While managing what you feed your mind, because your mind is your internal environment, and that determines how you take action and the things you get to do at the end of the day. In your pursuit for success, you need to become aware of what you're ready to sacrifice. And that shouldn't be your well-being, or the important relationships in your life. Creating success from within helps you to show up better for your relationships while ensuring mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. So, I invite you on this journey of redefining the currency of achievement and creating success from within. Let's change the narrative. And I want you to make that commitment today to changing the narrative. So you repeat after me. I am committed to taking care of myself. I am committed to changing the narrative. I am committed to creating my own version of success. I am committing to creating wealth. I am committing to placing boundaries where needed. I am committed to solving problems. I am committed to leaving the world a better place. I am committed to being an amazing person. So share this and let's hold each other accountable. Thank you.